Chris Battaglia is a photographer, artist, and filmmaker, yet he doesn't call himself a filmmaker because he graduated from Boston College with degrees in film and communications, nor for the fact that he grew up in Los Angeles or lived in New York and worked as a production assistant for a stint. It is because he paddled one time on the Mississippi River from St. Louis to the Gulf of Mexico in a 30-foot canoe for nearly two months. Chris didn't call himself an artist, artist is in quotes, mind you, until he received a grant last year to develop the Village Canoe, a new floating artist residency that took 10 artists in 10 canoes paddling down the Penobscot River out to sea from Bangor to Brooklyn, Maine. Please welcome Chris. Hello, everyone. Oh, hey, that's me. Uh, I'm Chris. And uh, here I am about to embark on 1,500 miles down the Mississippi River um, with all my one-man band film production gear. Um, this was um, the experience that predicated the development of the Village Canoe Project. Um, but to talk about the Village Canoe, you, I want to tell you about the Mississippi, which the first time I embarked on paddling was in 2013 when a friend named Wolfie invited me to, uh, I was making wedding videos in New York City at the time, and he said, can you make a wedding video about the Mississippi River? So I said, sure. <laughs> uh, um, here, this is 2017, when four years later I was asked to be the documentary filmmaker um, on a trip from St. Louis down to the Gulf of Mexico and, and um, in two big canoes with the Quapaw Canoe Company celebrating the, the completion of uh, the River Gator and a free online paddler guide to the river. And here on the river, uh, this is Mark River Peoples um, with the Cook Fire. Um, I kind of I try to explore um, the Thoreauvian ideals of the basic necessities of man and what that means to um, the shelter, clothing, food, and fuel are our basic needs. And only when you can figure those out can you then ask deeper questions. Um, this is uh, a tent in front of the. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is a tent in front of the St. Louis skyline, and one of the themes that this illuminates from this whole trip, from two months, was the, the connection of nature versus industry and, and, and the question of what is wild and, and wilderness. And, and John Rusky, our fearless leader, um, based in Clarksdale, Mississippi, uh, painted every morning um, and every evening. And, and for two months, I was inspired by his creative time and um, and the writing, there was uh, people used uh, clay from the Mississippi mud and here we have a group in the Gulf on the South Pass Island after paddling um, making wind chimes out of every little bas last bit of trash on the island and I thought that this unstructured play, which we heard about earlier, um, was, uh, was fundamental to our, our social um, and community driven um, experience. So here we are in two canoes um, uh, in, in Bangor, uh, having departed the Penobscot, Marie, uh, the Penobscot uh, Salmon Club uh, in, in, in search of Brooklyn, Maine uh, in, for an art residency that I've called the Village Canoe. Uh, in my time, I, I tried to source all of our food directly from the um, the counties along which we paddled, Waldo, Penobscot, and Hancock County. So almost, I Everything on this plate, with the exception of the Parmesan, was from uh, less than 20 miles away from here. Um, because food became such an important element to every day on the river. So, so now we're in day two. We're actually, you're now in the trip. You're here in the Village Canoe, August uh, 24th to September 1st. And this is in Bucksport, at the bridge on the right. And uh, we docked up, laid over for a couple hours uh, before heading to Porcupine Island, the furthest north island in the main island trail on the Penobscot River. And here we are, 10 artists um, at uh, Ram Island, just by Castine, where we engaged with our first, we had a series of artist talks every night on the trip. Uh, one artist presented their work for about 30, 40 minutes to each other. We shared, uh, passed around iPhones and um, talked and and we paddled. We paddled out. This is um, just beyond Cape, at the head of Cape Rozier on our most taxing and hairy day. We were battling winds of 15 to 20 miles an hour, seas of one to two feet, and, and a 30-foot canoe is not meant to do that. Um, <laughs> but I, I vow to, to, to make one that will. I mean, here we are in Pond Island expressing the, the things that I was so looking forward to from the Mississippi. We had uh, Brian connecting with native clays, uh, Matea, 
a Belfast resident uh, who was our dance artist and leading a dance workshop, and Alex Hackett, who came from the Outer Hebrides in Scotland, making a rose petal kelp jelly. Um, and here we are in, in um, paddling through Bucks Harbor at sunrise to paddle the Egamagan Reach, a 16-mile day from Pond Island through to Bucks Harbor and down the reach to get to Hog Island across from Brooklyn. And we, and we did it. Um, we made it here to Hog Island, two big canoes. We nestled right in that little almost isthmus, um, that little clearing just in the left um, for two nights where we celebrated the end of a 10-day excursion, 10 artists just making work in, uh, outdoors. And it's more than just making work and being outside and camping because it was this galvanizing force of, of being with people in this uninterrupted um, place. Um, there's this great quote that I want to read from this artist named David Neal who said that all facets of the contemporary canoe experience, the planning, building, fundraising, practicing, traveling, all combined to make our community strong and vital in the old ways. And um, I feel like we did, we, after 10 days, almost 10 strangers came together. And, um, and while I was kind of the 11th artist in this 10 artist residency, um, there was a really palpable feeling of connection that happened. Birch, the little babe, the kid, wasn't, was not on the trip. Um, but Willow here uh, led us in parade, costumed, stilted, with lanterns that she helped facilitate the building of down the main street of Belfast from Waterfall Arts at our art opening down to the waterfront and we set up a 40-foot greenhouse uh, the week before the show and had a three-day pop-up art show at the Belfast waterfront and, and this was brilliant. We had, we had panel discussion, we had dance performance that Matea led and two of our artists participated in. Joao um, leading a half-hull model carving, Pat Finelli leading paddle making demos and Bennett Kinesny of the work song chorus leading us in traditional Quebecois paddling songs. Um, and at the end of the day, I, like Scott said, I couldn't call myself an artist uh, unless I did this project, the Village Canoe, and I couldn't call myself an, um, anything unless I just decided to call myself something and do it. Um, so thank you. Uh, uh, uh.